Good morning, everyone. Treasure Troller here for the Alone Review of Episode 7. I'm kind of torn this year between um, if I like this show or not. I guess I'm enjoying this season a little bit more than I've enjoyed other seasons. I believe it's because there most of them are gathering food which makes it a little bit more interesting um but i guess what i'm disliking about it is yeah, i put the the last one the last episode with the fishing hack and you know leaders aren't allowed and that that mesh uh, fishing line isn't allowed, and I don't really see where either one would be a huge advantage. They're still going to lose hooks. They're still going to break lines. Uh, the weather is still going to mess up their their gill nets. The gill nets aren't that big to begin with. I, I don't see it as some sort of huge advantage to keeping the players in the game. Uh, any longer than they already last. I uh, and I guess that's where that's where the uh, I guess the contradiction comes in. It's really I've said all along. It's sort of a starvation competition, and this does nothing to dissuade me from believing. That it's nothing more than a starvation competition. And that's, I guess, where I start to lose interest in the show. It's, um, it's hard enough as it is. They, they don't need to make it any harder by just not allowing them to, lo to use something uh, that's a bit more advantageous i guess you could say maybe so i guess we'll get to the <clears throat> the episode uh once again cade cade that's right he tapped out um not a lot went on i mean i noticed we've uh stayed in the the 30 day range here for for a little bit longer than uh Maybe longer than normal. Only a couple more episodes left. Um, you know, Melanie slash Nicole, I think her days are numbered here. You can only gather berries for so long. And then uh, once the once the freeze hits, uh, she'll be done. I, I just keep watching, like, uh, the last episode where... She's walking to the blueberry patch and she's passing all that water thinking, well, you know, you could throw a fishing line in there. You wouldn't have to walk so far for berries when you could, when you might be able to catch a fish or two. But, you know, that's, that's not Melanie's thing. Melanie's thing is uh, self-awareness and uh, staying on the vegan diet. Um, I don't remember seeing a lot of Mikey. I think why it's going to end up being the, I guess, I don't want to say most popular, but I think he's going to turn out to be the one you're going to see popping up on Facebook a lot. Uh, I think people are going to be interested in him. I mean, I'd like to have a beer with White. I'd like to sit down and have a beer with that guy. He looks like he'd be uh, uh, a lot of fun to to hang with so uh why when you're out there or when all this is done uh open invitation from treasure troller to sit down and have a beer have a conversation that would be good um once again you know taz they're shooting arrows up in the tree at least if you're gonna shoot if you're gonna shoot arrows up in the tree the least you could do is during your uh, 
first episode or whatever when they're talk when they're showing the contestants at home and stuff and practicing with their bow at least show them practicing shooting up into a tree or shooting at elevated targets i mean it just uh it doesn't make a lot of sense to me uh, i i just think it's a bit of an unnecessary risk. Oh, oh, shot it. Oh boy, I hope I can find my arrow. Well, you know, maybe if you knew what it was really going to be like to have to hunt for those things, you wouldn't be shooting up in the tree. Uh, Taz, I think, is really kind of hurting himself with this, uh, you know, food box, and he he just seems to uh, one step forward and about four steps back. <clears throat> he was my my preseason winner. You know, based on the orphan factor and stuff. Um, I'm I'm beginning, Taz. You're you're. I feel like you're letting me down a little. You need to pick up the pace. Uh, you need to come through for me uh, to show that my, you know, my couch survivor analysis is our couch alone analysis is uh, right up there. So you need to pick it up a little bit. Um, I don't know. I'm just really stuck on this, on this fishing thing without the leaders and stuff. It just, it's disappointing that they make it so hard on these, on these contestants when, it's hard enough already. Now, I don't remember seeing a lot of Mikey. And that could be, well, like I said, this is, you know, about, I actually watched it Thursday night. I watched it twice, actually. And this is Sunday morning. I don't remember seeing a lot of Mikey, which, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure if the winner edit, we'd have to go back and watch. I've been watching those other episodes, but um, I don't know if they they start kind of putting together winner edits with half the contestants still in the game. But uh, not having him uh, that much in this last episode, I kind of wonder. We... Uh, heavy on Wyatt. It was heavy on Allen. Uh, saw a little bit, you know, saw a lot about Melanie slash Nicole. Um, trying to think. Mikey and uh, Taz. Taz is a little bit. So maybe this next episode we see more of. Taz and Mikey and probably Melanie slash Nicole tapping out. I think she's the next to go. Um, I don't know. There wasn't a lot of lot in this episode. Not a lot of meat. Not a lot of meat on the bone in this episode. It was uh, kind of the a lot of the same old same old. So. Maybe things will change a little bit in the next couple episodes. Oh, but it, it just sort of goes to another thing. It kind of shows you where these people that want to build these cabins. This is, I forget which day we're at. We're in the 30s. But the weather is still... 30, 35, 40 degrees out. They're not all in their hunkered down in their Nanook of the North winter clothes. They could easily have been building their McCabin now for without really any uh, bad weather or cold weather. They could have been building this thing now for 30 some odd days. They just didn't need to jump into this thing right from the start where I got to get my permanent. They could be still living in a tarp right now. They could still be living underneath a tarp right now. They just don't need to go 
crazy on these McCabins. It's just nuts. So, you know, go easy on the McCabin thing. Cut a few logs every day. Don't kill yourself. You don't have to go all out for four or five days building this ridiculous monstrosity. Even that, you don't even need that kind of monstros monstrosity. Something similar to what Taz has built is more than enough. But you've got 30, 35 days to build this thing and be comfortable. Take your time. Fish. Get up in the morning. Go sit in a go sit in a ground blind for a while. Do your big game hunting because y'all think that's what's going to get you through to the end. That's the winning ticket. Spend the morning in the ground blind. After you get come back, chop a couple logs down. Take them back to where you want your permanent shelter built. Go out later in the early afternoon, get your water, go fishing, catch your fish, have some dinner, go to bed. That, that's your day. I've got it all planned out for you. Not a lot of energy used during the, at least the minimal amount if you, if you feel like you need the McCabin. So just go easy on the thing. Go easy on yourself. So with that, this is Treasure Troller saying aloha and good day.